All right. One of the other features that the, uh, the uh, DNN 992 has is you're able to run, um, play your iPod through the screen. In order to do this, there's a couple accessories that you'll have to buy that aren't included with the uh, with the Kenwood itself. One is it's the Kenwood KCA IP103. And really, all it is is a the lightning cable uh, for the iPod looks like a whole lot heavier duty than uh, you know the typical iPod uh, cable and then the other thing you'll need to get is an HDMI cable I think it's the Kenwood uh, I think it's the KCA HD 100 you know it's just a standard looks like a standard uh, HDMI cable to me um, you actually take that little screw off back there, plugs it in, and then that plate goes back on there. Keeps it nice and secure, which is nice. Um, you could probably get away with just a standard HDMI cable and a standard iPod cable. But if you're going to go ahead and, and do a you know, quality installation, you may as well use you know, the, the factory stuff. Um, but like I said, you could probably get by with the, the regular stuff. Uh, I've got the Bluetooth put on. It's going to be right here. I'm not sure. You know, we'll of course have to test it, and make sure it's a good location to get good uh, audio and, and quality and everything. And then put the uh, push to talk button right there. Um, of course, that's the, the Kenwood powered subwoofer uh, controller. And everything was able to, to fit down in there, get all that back together. Nice and nice and clean installation. Um, you have plenty of wire for for all those for your GPS antenna, for your uh, push to talk, and for your um, Bluetooth speaker. So if that location doesn't work and you need to move them around, uh, you'll have plenty of, of cable to do that. Like I said, we'll try it here first and see how everything works out. Hopefully, it'll be good. If not, then we'll move it and see how it works out all right so uh we've got the hdmi cable and that uh, kenwood ipod or uh, iphone lightning cable and uh, i guess the, the dilemma is where where do you put the cable because you have these two tick cables that are coming out from the head unit okay and then of course they connect to your lightning cable and you know where do you put it so I decided what I was going to do is run it down underneath through the console and then come up underneath here so uh, I'd have the plug down there that way I could you know push it's within reach I can you know, plug it in um, shove it back down in there out of sight out of mind and hopefully nobody will, will uh, break into your stuff because they know you got an iPod or iPhone or whatever Something else I did is uh, I went ahead and the connector from the from the head unit into the, the iPod cable or iPhone cable. Um, you, know, you go ahead and plug those in, but just to keep around to worry about it coming unplugged, I just put a little piece of uh, shrink wrap on there with some uh, zip ties, real real light amount of heat, just enough to to kind of suck it, cinch it down. And then zip tied those that way you know when it's underneath everything and uh you know i don't have to worry about it coming apart also keeps it clean because we go to the beach a lot so i don't have to worry about sand or anything getting down in there so just some little extra i did like i said i didn't want to come out a lot of people just come out of the the glove box um i decided to uh to have it come up underneath just because there's not a lot of room in the glove box and you have all those wires sticking out there all the time so we'll see how it works if i don't like it i can always move it all right so there's the console put back in again trucks nice and dirty and then the uh was able to get the cables down here down there. and you have you know probably three feet or so of length where you can uh plug your iPod and stuff into uh, like I said it didn't have to cut holes in anything didn't have to 
have a bunch of wires all looking nasty everywhere so uh like I said, there's that and then just to put it away just kind of shove it down in there sight and out of mind you gotta worry about people uh seeing your stuff and trying to steal it